All right, Bruce Arians did speak to the Philadelphia media earlier today. I was on the conference call. Let's hear a little bit of Bruce Arians, B.A. A belated happy birthday. No, well, thank you so much. How's it feel to be 65? Sexier than ever. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce, the last time you played the Eagles, Chip Kelly was head coach here. What's the biggest difference from watching on tape the first four games and last year of Doug Peterson's offense compared to when you played him last time? Oh, night and day. You know, night and day. Uh, I had all this respect in the world for Chip and what he tried to do. Um, this is, you know, an offense that's been around the league for a long time, and uh, they got a great young quarterback running it. Bruce, would you uh, give me your thoughts on Hassan Reddick and how he's doing for you? Oh, unbelievable to uh, to draft a kid who's never played inside linebacker and throw him out there and start him. Uh, he has to be very, very special uh, mentally and physically, and uh, played extremely well for us. And now that Dayon Buchanan is back, he's probably going to play a little more outside linebacker. What do you think him being a Temple guy? Because like you coach in this program and you know what kind of guys played here. So give me your thoughts on him coming from Temple. Well, that, yeah, that was a, that was a given. We knew he was first of all. We knew he was tough. Uh, he came up the right way. Great mom and pop. Um, n- nothing handed to him. Had to work for everything. And uh, he and he's brought that work ethic with him. Um, Temple kids are very very proud. Bruce, you you had a, suffered a big loss with David Johnson going down early. Uh, how tough has that been to overcome? But yeah, it's you know it's hard to take the best player, uh, basically, in, in my opinion, in the league, and, and take him out of the game. But uh, you know we had an offense before he was here, and some of those players are here. Uh, they got hurt, so he got his opportunity. Now they're getting their opportunity back. Bruce, you mentioned uh, Wentz. Uh, you've been around some pretty good quarterbacks. What, what do you make of uh, of him based upon uh, your film study? Oh, I, I loved him coming out. You know, uh, he really reminded me a lot of Andrew Luck. Big, strong, physical, played in a pro offense. Um, had that linebacker mentality playing quarterback, and it shows up his toughness. Um, can really hurt you uh, out of the pocket and um, and in the pocket. But uh, he's he's such a good athlete that he can. He reminds me a lot of Ben in a lot of ways. How he just throws guys off in the pocket and then makes big plays downfield. If I recall correctly, you're a big proponent of giving the quarterback as much of the playbook as you can at the line. Uh, it seems like the Eagles Eagles actually have been doing that a little bit with him. What do you see? Uh, what do you see uh, as far as how he handles that? I, he did it well in college. You know, it was something that uh, he did check with me before, change protection. So he came out of a very, very good offense in college, well coached. Uh, so it really wasn't new to him. And he kind of probably already had the keys in his head on why he was changing plays. Bruce, Frank Reich was saying yesterday that what sets apart great quarterbacks from the pack is their ability to perform situational football, uh, third down, red zone. You've been around some great ones that that excelled at that, including Peyton and Ben. Um, How important is that to defining a great quarterback? Well, yeah, I think those two things and then two-minute football. Can you bring your team back from adversity and win games? Um, I think that's what separated Andrew Luck as a rookie. I think he still has the record probably for the most comebacks of of any quarterback as a rookie, fourth-quarter comebacks. And and I think you see that in Carson, that he can bring his team back. Hey, Bruce, uh, coming back to Philly, is that that still a special kind of thing to you? You have your roots in Pennsylvania, you worked at Temple. Can you talk about that? Oh, gosh, yeah. You know, I I never get any – I get more calls when I come back to Philly. Coach, can I see you? Coach, can I – hey, hey, um, can I see you? Cuz, can I see you? So I got so much family and uh, all those Temple kids are family, so it's hard to see them all. But uh, I really enjoy coming back. The last time you were here, you had the guys practice at Temple. Are, are, Are there any plans to do the same this year? No, we're staying a little too far away this time, and uh, we're over in Concha Hawkins, so um, we're going to just stay there at the hotel. You had a couple of health scares last year, Bruce. Uh, there were reports in December that you didn't, uh, which you vehemently denied about the way in retirement. Uh, during the off season, did you consider that option at all, or were you full speed ahead? 
No, I was full speed ahead. You know, once uh, once we found the cancer and uh, and it was gone, um, uh, I felt very rejuvenated. And uh, now that the rotator cuff, I'm still fighting that one. But uh, no, it was it was a hard year physically. If I was ever going to retire because of phys physical stuff, it didn't been last year. So you're in it for uh, for a while now. I hope so. I'm Bruce. As long as, they, long as they'll have me. <laughs> I'm, I'm Fitzgerald. So unique in the slot. How have teams tried to cover him? Have, have they used bigger uh, corners or, and safeties, or are they keeping their slot guys? Uh, most teams use your nickels. Uh, he has been, you know. There's an extra guy around him a lot of times, whether it's uh, if they're playing man-to-man, -man, it's, the, it's the whole defender or the safety dropping in. They usually drop towards him. And so it's kind of uh, very, very unusual if he's one-on-one. -on -one. Hey, Bruce, talk about Fitzgerald's ability to get open. I mean, he's an older guy now, but he still finds the open spots, man. Can you speak about that? Yeah, he's a, he's really studied the game. Um, it was a hard transition coming from outside. He still plays a ton of outside, but when he when to go in the slot was all new. And uh, I told him if you put your put your mind to it and and, and learn it, you'll get a hundred balls again. And um, you know, he made he made me right on that one. He has studied it. He understands leverage, uh, where the what the coverages are, and and how to get open in those coverages. Being able to coach him for a few years now, just what's the most Im impressive part about Larry Fitzgerald, someone that's clearly going to be going to the Hall of Fame one day? Everything he does off the field. On the field, he's amazing, but he's even more amazing as a man. Uh, the, the leadership he brings on how to do things professionally, you know, the Walter Payton Man of the Year, I think that just kind of says everything about Larry because that's him every day. Hey, Bruce. Uh... At, at 65, I guess a lot of people have applied for Medicare and all that stuff. Does football kind of keep you young, or can you talk about that? Oh, yeah, I got all my cards. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but, uh, oh, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. Standing in the locker room around the guys, um, it was the same way in college. You know, you, you, you just you kind of understand what everything's being said and what it means. And uh, if I if I don't know, I ask my 22-year-old granddaughter, hey, what's this mean? Oh, I got you now. <laughs> Bruce, you, you, it sounds like you did a lot of work on uh, Carson pre-draft. Um, is that just because, I mean, certainly you're going to do it as a coach of any NFL team, but is there a little more that you know, of your interest in quarterbacks, your background, and maybe spend a little more time on that, or do, were you guys yeah, to consider drafting? I, I have a lot of fun. You know, that, that's one of the things I love evaluating the quarterbacks that are coming out every year. So, and I've got a long list of uh, 20 years or so of evaluating them, so I know who he reminds me of. And um, you know, so yeah, I, I, uh, if he would have fallen to us, I'd have been ecstatic. Your own quarterback turns 38 in December, Bruce. Uh, I mean, obviously, you could, maybe he's Brady in place for another five years. Uh, but at the moment, it looks like that's a position that's unsettled going forward uh, long term. What's the window of opportunity like for this team right now? Well, you know, sports science has changed all that stuff. Those numbers are kind of out the window with these guys playing until they're 40 uh, because he probably, Carson's probably in the best shape he's been in a long time um, physically, and uh, we just got to quit getting him hit so much. Um, but, you know, I don't know. I don't, put, I don't put timetables on those things. We just go year to year, game to game, and, um, you know, this, this team, we've suffered some adversity injury-wise, but uh, we're hanging in there with everybody else. How about what you've seen on uh, from the Eagles offensively, specifically the last two weeks with the, their run game and also their offensive line play? Well, you know, LeGarrette, he's a handful every time he gets the ball. And uh, for a big man, he can he can make you miss. He can look you, he can run you over, make you look bad. And their offensive line is solid. I mean, those are all, those are all big time guys. And uh, adding Alshon, Nelson's moving Torrey. I mean, got a ton of weapons, so it, that kind of helps. But the, it all starts with the running game. How about Zach Ertz? You've seen him now four or five years. Um, How has he developed year to year? Oh, he gets better and better. I mean, he's he, he's a dual threat guy. He block you, he can run, he can beat you deep. Um, he's hurt us in the past. What are the challenges of facing a Jim Schwartz coach defense? Mm -hmm. 
you better have your P's and Q's and you better be physical. <laughs> Jimmy's one of the best and uh, I always respect him. It's, it's a unique style of defense and uh, it's a very good one, but uh, your tight ends, they're in for an all-day chore blocking those defensive ends and, and uh, same thing in the middle of the pocket. Bruce, you guys are only averaging about 21 and a half rushing attempts a game. Uh, I know losing David's a big part of that. I mean, does balance mean much for you in offense, or I mean, no, heck, yeah, yeah, it starts there. I mean, our problem is, is fourth quarters dictate how many runs you have in a game. If you're behind, if you're ahead, uh, we've been in, we've been in dog fights. We're probably throwing it more in the fourth quarter than I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to stay balanced up till then, and then see how the game plays out. How does Andre Ellington fit in terms of that receiving back for you? Well, he was the original. We actually Dave, we drafted David Johnson to back up Andre, and uh, because he was such a good receiver, we never even dreamt we had such a great runner. Um, and then Andre obviously had the foot injuries for two years, so he he can, we he was the guy that started it all, and he's also a very explosive runner. Um, as he's not a thirty touch guy though, and you've got to watch his touches. Hey Bruce, um, speaking of the draft and, and receivers. Talk a little bit about uh, Chad Williams from Grambling State. It was a third round pick for y'all. Oh, I love him. Oh, he's going to be a good one. Uh, he's just he's he's loaded. We're loaded right now with. The problem with us is two of our receivers are our best special teams players, and it, and I can't put him on the bench and get him going. He he started uh, playing a little bit, and then we had to make him inactive. But uh, big, strong, physical. Again, I don't like comparing guys, but I knew Roddy White in college because he played with my son, and he reminds me a lot of Roddy White. As someone who's been coaching a long time, uh, Doug Peterson in his second year as a head coach, what are your impressions uh, about Doug Peterson? Oh, solid, man. He's uh, He knows the game inside and out. Um, excellent coach. You look at his team. They're, they're well prepared every single week.